And a state representative who's on the CPS Oversight Committee also demanding change. She told ABC 15's Navita Fergani the state needs to overhaul the entire CPS system. A lot of people are calling for something to be done here, Navita. That's right. State Senator Leah Landrum Taylor tells me she's disgusted, but she's not surprised. And she believes everyone at CPS should be working through the weekend to come up with a plan for change. Meanwhile, she's working on her own plan for change. So it is a step by step, and priority one is saving the lives of children. State Senator Leah Landrum Taylor's number one short term goal is to find out what happened to the 6,000 complaints of child abuse or neglect the Arizona Department of Child Protective Services failed to investigate since 2009. So far, the agency has only reviewed half. Right now, we have 3,001 cases that need to be looked at as we speak today. And as a member of the committee that oversees CPS, she expects top officials to do everything they can to make sure the mistake is fixed. No, no breaks should be done. Go around the clock, get, the, get, get to each of these homes, visit these children, see what's happening with them. And while they're working, she's doing her own work to find a better system to protect Arizona's most vulnerable. Oh, there's lots of discussions that are happening. Do we have a separate agency for CPS? I think that would warrant taking a visit. But her demands don't stop there. I think we need to take a look at all of whether it's dealing with personnel, whether it's dealing with who's the blame. We can look at all of that. And it, we were going to have to look at that. We're going to have to take a serious look at that. And before any of those changes can be made, she wants to make sure every case that was neglected is reviewed. It's a responsibility that we have to the lives of these children, and they've been let down once again. And the Department of Public Safety has taken over the administrative part of this investigation. I'm told they already assembled a team of three to four criminal detectives and a captain to oversee the entire investigation to what went wrong. They're reviewing CPS policy and procedures, and some cases have been turned over so they can look at them. And Stephen Cady, the director of DES, promised to give the Oversight Committee a detailed plan on fixing the problem on Monday, but no word yet on if they're working through the weekend. This is a crisis situation. I mean, some of these kids clearly need attention now, and we can't wait any longer. Thanks so much, Navina.